hi so in my um screen recording video i mentioned that i would um follow that one with a video on how to trim or modify your video once you have um screen recorded it from youtube or or from wherever wherever else you were recording from so here is where we left off on the last video if you're not sure which video i'm talking about i added it on our description below so the first thing you want to do is you want to click on your video okay i normally preview the video that i'm going to use just to make sure that no additional noise came out or um or that i did have the mic on because we all know that we've done that a couple of hundred times so i preview the video um and then from there, while I'm previewing my video, um, I then decide uh, where I want to trim the video. Now, if my video is just a one-time video read aloud um, that I'm just gonna use for one of my lessons, then I don't, I, I start my editing and trimming right away. If I am going to use this video for uh, multiple lessons, maybe lessons that are going to go throughout the week, then I hit the, the actual slide and then right click and I duplicate my slide as many times. I mean, you can always delete. So um, I duplicate if I'm going to use this video or this particular read aloud on different days of the week. And I'll show you why in a little bit. So let's start with trimming. So I trim the video by clicking on the actual uh, the video itself. And what you want to do is you want to go back here to playback and to trim. So if you want to trim the video, let's say um, you want to just trim right off the bat, you want to trim the introduction. So what you want to do is you kind of want to find the area where you want to trim, start, start trimming it. So as you can see, I'm in between scenarios there so what I want to do is I want to use the arrow up button so then I'm assuming by looking at the video that that is where I would want to start so if you're not sure you can hit play and yeah I don't have the volume on because I was going to do this so um, that's probably where they start talking so that's where I want the video to start then um, I can also trim from the end. Now, the reason that I was telling you that if you're going to use this, uh, read aloud and use it as part of your instruction on multiple days. Um, let's say on Monday, uh, for example, prior to reading the book, I like for my kids to inference. So if I want them to inference based on... Um, a few of the pictures in the story then I may trim you know just the the title and maybe the first couple of pages okay so then um, you I move the red uh, slider over and then if I want to use the arrow up or down to trim more or to trim less you can definitely do that as well okay if i decide this is where i want my video to stop for um my day one lesson i hit okay and that's the trim for my day one lesson you can also treat this as you would a um a photo so you can go to format and you can also play around with uh, borders if you want to add some borders to it. If you want to change the shape of the borders, 
I mean, you probably don't want to do that, but if you did, you can play with all these and it will definitely take and it'll save the, the settings that you change. Okay, so also, um, if you want to insert a text box, then maybe here you want to, I don't know, you want to write, um, who are the characters? Okay, if you want to ask your questions or like, I guess, use this, um, as part of your lesson, maybe incorporate questions in as your as your students follow the read aloud. Then you can also do that here. That's fine. Um, it, like I said, this is it's really user friendly and it's really fun. Um, if you want to add multiple pictures or titles or questions or now that we're doing distance learning you can also um if you want uh to try to avoid parents and kids trying to figure out what web page i go to after my read aloud to answer the questions that go with my read aloud you can actually put them on here and you can ask them to name the characters okay the setting okay um whatever that you can do that here and and i honestly i've been using this a lot with distance learning because i teach kindergarten and um what i do is i convert these into my powerpoints i convert them into an mp4 and I send the video out to parents and they can push play and pause whenever they need to. So it's, it's really also targets any students that you may have with accommodations that need more time to complete work because it's all self-paced. Okay, so this is a cool feature that I like to use. Um, say day two, you want your students to... Um, I don't know, you have a question on, let's just, uh, what's your opinion of how the characters um, changed by the end of the book? So you can, if you wanna use a fancy border, you double click, you put the border, and then you say, okay, I need to trim it because I don't want them to go through the whole read aloud. I only want them to talk about the ending. You trim it there and then, or wherever your ending is. And you can, of course, change the size. And again, you can add your text box here and um, you can ask your questions here, okay? Um, how did the character change from the beginning and so on okay so I'm not gonna go through the whole thing but um, this is how you do it if you don't want to do it that way you just you don't want to write any questions there for your students you just want them to listen to the ending and then you have a discussion later that's perfectly fine also okay um, if on the third day of your lesson or second day or another day of the lesson, you want them to listen to the middle part of the story. If you, This is really good if you are teaching sequence of events. Um, I'm actually incorporating this in one of my lessons next week and I'm chopping up a book and we are talking about sequence of events and what happened at the beginning, middle and end. So, this is another option um, so that you could kind of give students a visual of, okay, this is the middle. This is where um, circumstances in the book change or transitional words or anything like that. So this is how I trim videos. Um, if you have any other questions or anything else, comment below if there's anything else I can help you with, please um, send me a comment. I'd be more than happy to do so.